one for proper Tiger King <laughs> unintentional I can promise you my challenge for this video is not to say um because I think I said it in my last video about a hundred times to the point where you could actually have played a drinking game and probably ended up drunk off of it that's how bad it was and my also my challenge is basically to find any single social media platform during isolation to humiliate myself on and so far I think I'm doing a pretty good job if I don't say so myself if you haven't already guessed it by the thumbnail I wanted to talk to you guys about my weight loss journey through Slimming World and how I started why I wanted to start um, how I got through to where I am now so let's start where to begin to be honest I've always been quite curvy I've never been petite I'm five foot nine and my mum would describe me as full-bodied no that's wine um big boned I am quite big boned and I'm quite broad shoulders so I know I'm never going to be petite but yeah it probably got to end of 2017 it was quite a tough year and I then started to comfort eat a lot more than normal to throughout the whole of 2018 to to last year in June actually where I kept doing crash diet courses to where I would go from extreme diet so I've done the no carb diet which was horrible because I love potatoes so much so no carbs the Mars bar challenge not challenge diet Mars bar diet I think you had like four Mars bars a day or something stupid like that and um, potato soup diet carriage diet yeah I've done them all and if anything it actually made it worse because I was just restricting myself so much that I ended up splurging bulging splurging splurging and bulging the next day because I, I was just I just wanted chocolate everything sweets come at me so yeah, it got to a point we were on holiday, my mum, my sister, my niece and myself, we were in Spain and I just felt exhausted. It, it was just ment mentally and physically, I was just so tired all the time because of what I was eating and my diet, what a day-to-day -day life would be. And yeah, I it was, wanted to take photos or... I would be standing behind like my mum or my sister, my niece, I'd be trying to stand behind in photos or stand behind them, I stand on my side and yeah it just got and I just felt so uncomfortable in the clothes I was wearing before, even before I went on holiday I was buying baggy clothes and I know baggy clothes are in fashion but there's baggy and then there's baggy clothes to the point where I was actually might as well have bought a bin liner and then tied a belt around it and it probably would have looked more flattering to be totally honest like that's how extreme it went so yeah we was on holiday and me and my mum made a pact um my mum's already done Slimmer World before and my sister and her best friends they done amazing on it and my mum made a pact that she said why don't we when we get back to England we'll Join Slim and World, and I was like, Do you know what? I've got nothing else to lose, I've tried everything, it might, probably, probably won't work. Let's just give it a go. So, uh, the next week, we got back into England, we went to Slim and World. It was a Saturday morning class, class session group, and got on the scales. And honestly, I was the heaviest I have ever been. And I know weight shouldn't matter because you get weight muscles and things like that but for me personally that was a big shock to me and I was like no that's it I'm gonna draw the line I can't do it anymore so I uh, we stayed for class and 
the class, God, it's not school, it was stayed for group and I was 100% on plan for the whole week and I went back and I was really anxious and nervous to get on the scales but I actually lost six and a half pounds in my first week which is pretty much half a stone so to get my half a stone award in the first week at Slimmer World was amazing and I know it sounds really silly but to get like a little certificate and a sticker it really I don't know really made, motivated me to do more and get like try and get more off really so yeah, I was 100% on plan. I come back from Slim World actually on the first day. I, um, after I got weighed, I actually looked on Google for my BMI and my BMI was, I know you're not meant to, but for my height as well, it was, I was, um, oh, I was obese, heavily overweight. And I know my friends and family, they will say that I never, was overweight never looked and to be fair I never I never did but I just felt so uncomfortable and I know everyone says it but even putting clothes on like I couldn't fit into jeans and I kept on buying bigger clothes every single time which actually ended up wasting more money rather than just losing the weight in the first place so I've sidetracked now so yeah, I lost six and a half pounds in my first week, so that really motivated me to keep um, keep going, carry on. So I was writing everything down, which I found was probably the best way. I even write it down now, like I put it in my notes of what I've had, just to keep track on it. And for those of you that aren't really aware of Slimmer World, I'd have more free foods like fruit, veg, meat, fish, uh, things like that during the day, to um, pasta, potato, rice beans all throughout the day and then in the evening that's when i like to have my huge snack plate so i have like my yogurt my jelly fruit the chocolate allowance that i can have it's quite funny actually because my dessert plate is huge i just pile it all on and my friends are just like can you are you sure you can actually eat all that and i'm like yeah yeah you'll be surprised and then that's another thing the amount of food that you actually eat and you still lose weight um, I know what I'd rather do. So yeah, I carried on writing everything down. I was 100% on plan. I then um, never exercised, so I still don't exercise now. So I never went running or things like that. I probably changed a little bit. So instead of maybe getting a lift, I would probably take the stairs, just slight changes. I wouldn't do anything drastic. I never went to the gym or anything like that in my first probably six months. And in total, where am I? In total now, so it's been 11 months. No, it hasn't, it's been 10. I started end of June. So end, about 10 months, I have lost a total of two stone and five pounds so, uh, my target is three stone to lose so I've still got oh my god I can't do maths ten pounds no nine pounds still got a bit more to lose but I'm hoping to do that end of June this year so then I can say that I've lost three stone in a year which would be amazing but if anything I'm so happy that I have lost the weight that I I have now. I never thought I would be able to because everyone knows I'm such a huge foodie. I've got the biggest sweet tooth. And to be honest, the ple where I was before I started, it did get quiet back because I was eating, oh, I cannot describe to you my diet back then. It was like two twin packs of Maryland cookies like huge for breakfast and then lunch I'd have three courses because I think why not chocolate meal deals ready meals it just got to a point where it was just too much actually to where my mum stopped buying sweets and chocolates in the house and I started eating my dad's but there were custard creams don't hate me but I'm not a huge fan of custard creams and I actually ended up eating them and I didn't even like them so I was just eating just for the sake of it also with Slimming Wild I found 
at my kind of my passion for cooking again because before I was just picking up ready meals and Tesco's and things like that and I've actually started well I started cooking from scratch and I love it I like I've got my pinch of num pinch to num pinch of something num book um which I go through and I sometimes have to change a bit of the ingredients around so it's slim world friendly but it still does the job and I just love it I just love cooking from scratch I've made love spag bowl which I've only just discovered that spag bowl is short for spaghetti bolognese I thought it was spag in a bowl because you have it in a bowl anyway that's another story but yeah I'm really happy from where I am now and I think I have really changed physically and mentally I know it sounds such a cliche but it, I do feel a lot more confident in myself and just healthier as well so yeah I, that's all really I have to say if you have any questions or anything like that please ask I yeah, I used to find these videos before I started and while I'm still on Slimmer World really helpful because it gets gets me motivated and just to stay on plan. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope even if I've helped two people just to stay motivated, then that means a lot to me. But I hope you all stay safe. Make sure you wash your hands and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.